Hi, I'm Judy Hall and I'm the founder of Women Unlimited and welcome to Friday's Catch Up. In today's session, I'm going to talk about how you can achieve twice as much in half the time. And there are a couple really key things that I want to talk to you about in this. The first is that at the beginning of every week or the end of the previous week is do the thinking first. So what I call this is slow down to speed up. If you take half an hour in your business to really think about what's worked in the previous week and what's the thing that you want to achieve in the following week, it really helps to give you and your business a lot of focus. So we do this here on Friday afternoons at around 12 o'clock. Jane and I will sit down and look at what's worked what we've achieved from what our goals were and what we need to be focusing on in the following week. And it really makes a massive difference because it means that week on week, we know exactly where it is that we need to be achieving and how to be effective in the business. So I would suggest that you schedule a time for yourself that you sit down and get out of doing the business and give yourself strategy time to think about building your business what are the things that you need to do? Take stock. What's working and what's not working? And the next thing I want to suggest is, this is some advice that I got from a really brilliant business mentor of mine. And he said, if you need to be doing one of three things in your business, and if you're not doing one of those three things, then stop it. And those three things are, one, you need to be going out and winning and marketing your business. So this is the sales activity, whether it's social media, email, focusing on your website, going out and meeting clients. You need to be doing that as a core part of every week. The next thing you need to be doing, number two, is actually doing the business. So doing your delivery. In my case, it's creating trainings. It's doing videos like this. In your business, it's going to be something else. But you need to be spending a significant proportion of your time actually doing the business. And then the third thing is learning and development. And it's figuring out getting the skills that you need to be more successful in business. And if the things that you're doing don't fall into one of those three categories, Degrees, then it's probably time to reconsider whether it's really valuable use of your time in your business. So I hope that's been useful. Remember those three things and I look forward to catching up with you next week. Take care and have a brilliant weekend.